Yeah, first being found, but that's the point. When you saw, you know, your mind is completely elsewhere. It must yeah. take a lot to kind of regain that composure, as you well know, Ben. Yeah, I mean, I think she was right. She said she went in the back gym and she changed the later. I tried to change that frame of mind, but in the back of her head, she knows she's European champion. And yeah. It, she was just so overwhelmed by that, but the fact then she composed herself for the beam final and like she said, with the team there was so much pressure, whereas today it was kind of, I might as well go out and enjoy it, I've got the medal I want, mm. let's see what can happen on beam and to produce the best score she's had this championship. Yeah, well we're now going to move on to Flo, yep. two-time <laughs> European champion yourself there and you always, I mean you were the queen of getting the crowds <laughs> clapping, everyone would be on your side during your performance and looking at Claudia Fragapani, I mean she's got a real style and a real zest hasn't she in her routine? Yeah, if you watch her routine it's very different, it's got a bit of break dancing halfway through and I don't know, it's just a routine you want to sit and watch and the tumbling is just unbelievable she's just in the past year upgraded so much and yeah. it's definitely one for the future i love the break dancing bit <laughs> honestly you got if you haven't seen it in the same final you are going to love it but let's have a little look and see who uh, claudia is going to be up against in this final uh, so yes claudia she'll be second highest qualifier actually she'll be third up there the highest qualifier larissa your dash well she'll be looking to add to her medal tally as well we've got a european champion from back in 2007 all the way up to a second in uh, 2013 for Vanessa Ferrari she has been on the scene for absolutely ages but anyway uh, let's hear from Claudia Fragapani she's going to talk us through her classy cutting-edge qualifying performance here we go I just wanted just to go out there and just do the best of my ability because obviously I want to make finals but then I wanted to do a good qualification for the team as well um, and they were just like helping me through that routine so with the full in straight um, felt quite solid to me um, double straight, I did quite well on that. And then it came to the double Arabian, I kind of got more nervous because that's like one that I have to go hard but then control. And then the double fight, I just needed to land that on my feet. And yeah, it was great being out there. So talk to me about the street dancing bit. My coaches um, tried to teach me the backspin and we liked that. And then I put my input in the first bit where I go put my head all the way around to make it more unique. So yeah. <laughs> Claudia Fragapane, Great Britain. A huge moment for Claudia Fragapane, 16 years of age, performing in the floor final. Keep your eyes wide open for this first tumble. Big, powerful round off flip, double straight with full twist, just gets those feet down. Now she's got another big tumble to come. Double straight, floats that one, gives it a little bit more, but stays inside the area. Super control and height on the leaps. Very original. And this is a third big, big tumble. She needs her legs working there just fine. Big double Arabian. Such a difficult leap. She's matching the tumbling with the leaps. She's now got to really concentrate, find the floor at the right time. Super stuff. What a routine from Claudia Fragapani. That first tumble looked just a little bit tired, but she's had a fantastic championships and fighting right to the very end. Well, that was a sick performance. Look at this in the first tumble. This is massive. Back it or oh, double straight, second tumble. First tumble was the double straight with full twist. Look at the height on the leaps, the originality. Love the break dancing. Look at this here. That's the influence of the young coach. Maybe she's seen me in my day, stripping my stuff <laughs> in a few nightclubs. But then look at this. Double Arabian, controlled it well. She was under immense pressure. 
And look at this, the power from this gymnast. Double pipe back, nonchalantly done. And she's in third place with 14.133. Difficulty of six, a little down on the execution. Warisa Yordache, Romania. Here's a potential big challenge, though. Larissa Yordash, the 2012 European floor champion. Top qualifier. Very dynamic. This a big tumble, watch. Double twisting, double back. Little pace forward, but controlled well. And turns immediately into this second big tumble, full twisting, double back. This is new rules. The gymnasts aren't allowed to just stand in the corners and wait. Little bit of a mishap on the spin. She made a triple. You see, she has to turn straight in and then go for the tumble. Quite a lot more difficult. Easy to be disorientated, but that was a super triple. Little pause, not in the corner, and off she goes. Really needs to use her strength and power experience. She does just that. Very nicely flighted. Strong performance right to the very end there from Larissa Yordash. Bravo, bravo. Hats off. Really mature performance there. It just proves that the, uh, the preparation is key. There she, the first tumble's very difficult. Double twisting, double back somersault. The only real error she had on the tumbles. She quickly turns back around. There's the full in back. Much cleaner landing. So precise on the tumble. There you go. There's a triple twist. She likes that. She likes it and why not? Because 14.8 puts her into gold medal position. Fabulous work from Larissa Yordash. Here's Julia Steingruber then Julia of Switzerland. She was fifth on the floor at the 2013 Worlds in Antwerp. Qualified in this final in third place. No, she's got the difficulty. Look at the power and the height of those jumps. This will be the big opener. Full twisting, double back straight. Look at the power here. Double layout, magnificent tumbling. Beautiful choreography. The leaps. There's the turn into the third tumble. Brown off flick, double tuck. Needs to keep that focus. On, stand this up. Double pipe back. Magnificent. Really nice lyrical floor routine. She's a very good competitor, very dynamic tumbler. We've seen the power from the vault, who won the gold medal on the vault already. So this, the opening tumble, is one as difficult as you'll see anywhere. Two somersaults in the straight position with a full twist. Really fantastic tumbling. These very springy floors are allowing the gymnast to explore the more difficult tumbles. That's a double straight. Of course, the body travels so much slower through the air when it's straight. 
shorten the radius into the pike and it whizzes round. It was a fantastic routine that. It had everything. The power, the grace, the beauty. Into second position, 14.5 for Julius Steingruber. That was a fabulous routine. Vanessa Ferrari, 23 years of age, former European floor champion back in 2007. Vanessa Ferrari, Italy. And Vanessa Ferrari, last year's European Championship, she took the silver medal. She hasn't medaled here. She'll be very keen to do her best. Big opening tumble here. Double twisting double. And another big tumble to come here. We are double straight in the second. Really impressive stuff here. So we've seen two huge tumbles. What for the third? And a full twisting double back. She is packing the power in here. Strong leaps. Sets up for another very difficult leap. Turn with the head back. So she's had difficult tumbling, difficult leaps. She needs a very impressive finish here. Deep breath. Good round off flip, double pike summy. Yes, she can really land well. And a smile sells that routine. A strong bid for a medal there. What a performance that from Vanessa Ferrara. I just thought that was an amazing routine. It had everything, like you said, Christine, and I think this floor final will be separated on the landings. And for me, she had the best landing so far. Falling back out on a ninepence. The only difficult landing she had was the first tumble, which was the huge Double twisting, double back. Grace and beauty within the leaps. Beautiful choreography. And just look at this tumble here. Right down to the end. Pops up into that double pike. Bang, have that. For me, I think that might be the best performance we've seen. Let's have a look. Oh, oh yes. she goes top. Vanessa Ferrari goes into the lead with one more gymnast to come. She's guaranteed a medal, but she goes into Ala the gold Sosnitskaya, medal Russia. position. Ala Sosnitskaya, 17 years of age in her first European Championships on the floor. Great control there in the spins. Funky music, we like it. Powerful double layout. Into the second tumble, flip, whip, whip, whip. Triple twist. Great control. Double pipe back. Slight step back on the landing. Final tumble. Crank it up a little bit. Double tuck. Well then. Beautiful performance. Very class. Well, not classical in the performance, but uh, in her skills. Always straight legs, beautiful feet. 
in time with the music, but not quite the virtuosity, I don't think, of some of the more experienced gymnasts. Lovely opening tumble, double straight, little bit of a flicker on the knees. The judges will deduct just a tiny bit there. But this nice two whips, backflip, triple twist. Tiny bit off with the feet, but she controlled it well. And double pike, just the step backwards. Please, one more applause for all gymnasts. And there, the double tuck to finish. So sixth place for Ala Sosnitskaya, 14.266. That means that the gold medal, well, two gold medals will be awarded. Vanessa Ferrari and Larissa Yordash of Romania, joint European champions. They can't be separated on 14.8. Julia Steingruber there with her coach. Uh, takes the bronze medal, but Vanessa Ferrari there in the black leotard. She was the European champion in 2007 on this apparatus. Seven years on, she takes the gold medal once more. This is how it's finished in the women's floor final. Vanessa Ferrari and Larissa Yordash, both former champions on top of the podium once again. Julia Steingruber taking the bronze and Claudia Fragapane for Great Britain, finishing in eighth but it takes home a team silver medal and a very good showing in the vault final as well. How have you found your first taste of European finals? Yeah, it was absolutely amazing. Um, I didn't get what I wanted, but I, it was just amazing. I feel so happy that like, whatever I've done, I'm just proud and everyone else is. Tell me through the floor routine. Um, well, yeah, I started off with a full inch day. I don't really know what happened. I, kind of, I think I just felt my legs felt really jelly and I, felt, I didn't feel as pumped, but because I obviously hit the other two teams, it felt quite hard. And then coming to the double straight, because obviously I was a bit like, oh no, and then it comes to the double straight, so I really like went hard for it and I did a big bounce. And then double Arabia, and I felt okay on that, and then a double pike. And then after that, I thought, I've done it now, and I've made two finals, and I'm pleased with that. Well, Christine still now joins us from what must have been an exhausted, emotional weekend, Christine, for you as a coach. Yeah. yeah, very emotional weekend. And I think really when we saw Becky sort of burst into tears yes. on the landing of the dismount, it was very difficult not to be bursting into tears yeah. in the commentary box because we've lived through all those triumphs at highs and lows with yeah. her. And this yeah. has been, I mean, it's been a historic championship mm -hmm. as far as success are concerned I mean we've never been this successful from juniors right up to seniors no it's been, it's been absolutely fantastic an amazing weekend for yeah. the British girls yeah and well we've got to mention the Downey family not just <laughs> Becky Downey but Ellie as well and goodness me what proud parents let's have if you missed it earlier on uh, this is Rebecca Downey winning gold in the European senior uneven bars final so here we go Go on, Beth, you can talk us through this again. So, as I was saying, you sort of felt that confidence building throughout the performance. Yeah, I mean, she's had two great competitions leading into this, and she went for the harder routine. You can see the amplitude on all of her releases. The thing is, with Becky, when she goes for something, she gives 110%. Yeah. And you can just see how clean and tidy it is throughout. There's the big connection down to the low bar, and that's really what upped her difficulty today. Um, then this shot. This is the hard connection right at the end when she was tired and she knows now all she's got to do is put this dismount on her feet and the emotion just came flooding out of her <laughs> and you, could, you felt it with her. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, it's, uh, that was as good a routine as we've seen her do. Yeah. I've watched her in training this last month and it was really very good. And as we said, beating the Olympic champion fair and square. And here, sister then, sister Ellie, taking goal in the juniors. Yes, eight years between them. They're, they're, uh, Becky does a lot of, you know, sort of motivating Ellie and looking after sure, her. Sure, sure. So, uh, so these medals then, I mean, obviously, how will that kind of transpire through into the training gym? Because there's going to be a lot of buoyancy, isn't there? There's a lot of buoyancy and a lot of belief. We've got a lot of good juniors underneath. We've got actually a really good generation of young coaches as well, yeah. several of whom were out there with their gymnasts. And I think they now will be working towards the expectation of winning medals, not just making the British team, but yeah. intending to make finals. It's been a lonely club, that European champion one, hasn't it, Beth, for Great Britain? <laughs> but it has.
Welcome. Welcome them in. Welcome. Oh, I'm will more than willing to have lots yeah. of people joining me on that club. Well, listen, there's plenty more sport for you to look forward to here on BBC Two. So next up, we have got triathlon coverage from Japan. And then uh, highlights of the great Manchester run start at 6pm, also on BBC Two. And one to watch as well, the quite remarkable David Coleman. Wednesday, BBC One at 10 35. But, well, that is all we have got time for uh, for this week. No doubt Great Britain's men's team will have been watching. They have a tough act to follow. Join us for highlights of that competition from 3 o'clock next Sunday on BBC Two. But from all of us here, it's goodbye. I gotta be stronger for more. I gotta be stronger for more.